the electromagnetic field produced by the Earth is the same type produced by a radio transceiver coil. The same could be said about DNA. DNA produces an electromagnetic field. The billions of DNA molecules inside the billions of cells inside your body are radio transceiver coils slash antennas, literally. And, as already noted, the electromagnetic field produced by the Earth, as well as the other planets, as well as living moons, are also identical to those produced by radio transceiver coils. The same could be said about the galaxies, especially the spiral galaxies. And, if you do not have a background in science or technology, this is not going to make much sense. The electromagnetic fields produced by the galaxies and the living planets and moons as well as organisms are the same types produced by radio transceiver coils and antennas. And that's not even the half of it. This means that you are in part a radio transceiver unit. The DNA cells in your body are also radio transceiver units. The organs in your body are, are also radio transceiver units. DNA is also computer code, by the way, all of which generate electromagnetic fields, especially with regard to magnetic code. But we have a system of electromagnetic fields inside electromagnetic fields inside electromagnetic fields. Your electromagnetic field is the medium through which you are likely being tracked by the engineers of the Technoverse, some kind of ETs perhaps, or even God himself, or itself, or, or whatever. But the system of electromagnetic fields inside electromagnetic fields inside electromagnetic fields is the same setup as a source relay destination network. If you look at this particular image and think about it, bearing in mind our bodies produce radio frequency signals, we are probably being simulated or modeled somewhere in the universe. The universe is some kind of control grid. More specifically, the universe is a cybernetic universe and a gigantic wireless computer sensor communications data mining and fusion grid and that is not even the half of it not only not only do the techno structures that you see in this presentation look like the galaxies and planets and so forth but they also act like them they generate the same electromagnetic fields using many of the same dynamics. The solar system, galactic groups, are essentially radio transceiver arrays, antenna arrays. For another example, the solar system is a mirror image of a computer drive or biodisk drive. The forces of light and magnetism are used as analytics agents and excitation agents. The forces of light and magnetism can also read and write information, including genetic information. Earth is part of some kind of computer drive, biosensor drive. The solar system especially when the sun is included, reads and writes DNA. DNA is structurally identical to computer code insofar that DNA mutates in the UV rays. DNA is structurally identical to computer code insofar that both are binary code. Magnetic fields are also used to write digital information as well as manipulate DNA. It's not out of the question 
that humans are avatars are remote biosensors for some kind of engineers at the Technoverse or for the engineer slash god of the Technoverse perhaps humans are avatars of God God lives in humans and humans live in God but that notwithstanding each and every organism and the organs within this organism produce their own unique electromagnetic fields these electromagnetic fields resonate and oscillate with the electromagnetic fields produced by the earth the Sun the Milky Way humans and other life forms on earth are some kind are part of some kind of cosmic control system the solar system is some kind of behavioral model behavioral modification grid in which the forces of light and magnetism are used to modulate the behavior of the organisms on earth in fact scientists have known for years that the forces of light and magnetism as well as gravity affect the behavior of organisms the earth is the equivalent of a spherical petri dish or microscope slide the earth more specifically is a near mirror image of what is called an optical magnetic microsphere resonator spectroscope biosensor these spherical biosensors use the forces of light and magnetism as excitation and analytics agents and they also are used to modulate the behavior of the organisms and cells inside these spectroscopes there are many different kinds of spectroscopes with many different kinds of applications but generally speaking they are used by doctors and scientists to study and modulate the behavior of organisms and cells the universe is a machine that generates the forces of light and magnetism the forces of light and magnetism are used by scientists and doctors and so forth to study the interaction and the behavior of organisms and cells at the minutest level as well as modulate the behavior of these things the universe is also a spectroscope made of quadrillions of spectroscopes there are more types of spectrography than you can shake a stick at out there but our solar system and all other solar systems are spectroscopes we have a system of spectroscopes inside spectroscopes and this includes the spectroscope of the human eye The planets in the solar systems play multiple roles. The suns also play multiple roles, which is something I will get into later. But the interior and exterior structure and dynamics of the living planets and the moons and the galaxies and so forth are mere images of the structure and dynamics of technology biosensing technology communications technology computer technology and other technologies and the suns play a major role the suns play multiple roles for example computer read write heads optical magnetic read write heads lasers cathodes light emitting diodes and other roles that the suns play 
The luminous planets with the big rings seem to play the roles of, op of optical pickup diodes. Including gamma and x-ray pickup diodes, perhaps. But the geochemical composition of these planets are basically mirror images of the uh, chemical composition of pickup diodes and other technologies. The universe is set up to enable the engineers of the technoverse to study the organisms throughout the technoverse and manipulate these organisms. As already noted, the universe is some kind of computational biology and bioinformatics grid. Each and every sun, each and every planet, each and every human emits its own unique electromagnetic spectral signature. This dynamic plus other dynamics means that humans are the equivalent of radio frequency identification tags. The same thing could be said about the Earth and the other planets. The same thing could be said about the Milky Way galaxy. Radio frequency identification tags. The electromagnetic fields produced by humans, the planets, the suns, the galaxies are mirror images of those produced by radio frequency identification tags, radio transceiver coils and antennas, as well as other technologies that make up our cybernetic universe. The universe is a fusion of technology, of many technologies sensor technology, radio technology, computer technology including biosensor technology. The electromagnetic fields produced by the galaxies, the planets, the suns, they're basically passing through all life on Earth and other planets in the domains of the respective galaxies and suns and planets and they're picking up information on the organisms within their domains. These electromagnetic fields I believe contain information. In fact all electromagnetic fields can store information all electromagnetic fields can transmit and receive information and the universe and the stars and the planets and living moons therein are basically machines for producing electromagnetic fields. This includes the electromagnetic fields produced by planar spiral antennas, sensors, including biosensors. Now these these are called microfluidic biosensors. I have yet to find any that are electromagnetized. However, they are used to separate cells as well as detect pathogens and particulates. The spiral galaxies are also mere images of radio frequency identification tags, as are the planets, as are humans. The cores of the planets and the galaxies would be the computer chips, whereas the brain is obviously serves the role as the computer chip. Inside the radio frequency identification tag component of humans, the electromagnetic fields produced by the living planets, the moons, the galaxies, the suns are in part produced by their cores. Now these cores are very complex. They're made out of all the basic elements including metals and crystals. The churning and turning movements of these cores produce electromagnetic fields. These cores serve multiple roles including dynamos that generate electromagnetism 
Plus, it's not out of the question that they serve the simultaneous roles as computer cores, sensor cores, radar cores, antennas, and so forth. The Earth, and there is no two ways about the fact that the Earth is some kind of radar magnetron. The convection currents produced by the Earth are essentially resonance cavities of the same types that are in radar magnetrons. The magnetic belts of the Earth are also the same types of magnetic belts that you would find on a radar magnetron. Radar, by the way, is just another type of sensor. The Sun also more or less behaves like a radar magnetron. The convection currents produced by the Sun are essentially the same as the resonance cavities of a radar magnetron. The relationship between the core of the Milky Way galaxy, the Sun, the Earth, and humans is a very special relationship. This dynamic is also consistent with the dynamic of a source relay destination system. Humans are antennas, planets are antennas, suns are antennas, galaxies are antennas. Our brains are antennas, our bodies are antennas, our DNA are antennas. Humans are also sensors, just like the Earth is a sensor, just like the Milky Way galaxy is a sensor. We have a system of antennas inside antennas, inside antennas, sensors inside sensors inside sensors. These are some more comparisons of the Earth and the galaxies with some other techno structures, including sensor rings. There are more different types of sensor rings than you can shake a stick at, including bioscanner rings, the magnetic belts on radar units. These rings produce powerful magnetic fields. MRI rings produce magnetic fields that are a lot more powerful than Earth's magnetic belts. However, the principle remains the same. Earth is also a cyclotron. Earth is a cyclotron slash particle accelerator in the particle accelerator of the Milky Way galaxy. The galaxies are some kind of particle accelerators or decelerators or something to that effect. But nonetheless, the galactic rings are basically mirror images of uh, scanner rings. Bioscanner rings and other technologies discussed in this video are used by doctors and scientists to study organisms, diagnose disease, and so forth. It is significant that even the layers of the Milky Way galaxy, as well as the layers of the Earth, are mere images of the layers of sensor equipment and other equipment, even the chemical composition of the Milky Way galaxy and the Earth are more or less mere images of the chemical composition of sensor chips, sensor plates, computer chips, disks, and so forth. Most of this electronic equipment is largely made of silicone which makes up almost 25 percent of the chemical composition of the layers of the earth and I presume at least that much of the layers of the Milky Way galaxy and other galaxies 
the electromagnetic fields produced by the planets and the galaxies I don't doubt are passing through the organisms in their domains and picking up information on these organisms any way you analyze the internal and external structure and dynamics of the planets the living moons the suns and the galaxies you will see technology you will see fusions of technology sensor technology computer technology communications technology and a long list of other technologies that make up the technoverse solar systems are fusions of technology this image this x-ray image is just something I threw in right off the top of my head the solar systems seem to be some kind of x-ray unit the Sun basically takes x-rays all day every day the core of the earth would probably be some kind of detector plate but hard radiation from the Sun is basically bombarding and passing through all life on earth including x-rays the Sun could basically serve as any type of sensor technology that uses the forces of light and magnetism the Sun plays multiple roles largely I believe as a computer right head as well as some kind of sensor head that manipulate DNA as well as organisms at large the Sun is a machine that generates the forces of light and magnetism the forces of light and magnetism are used in computer equipment and sensor equipment for the purpose of respectively reading and writing digital information as well as manipulating genetic information including DNA DNA are transceiver coils by the way in the electromagnet the electromagnetic signal produced by DNA is the same type produced by the human organs the human body by the planets the suns and the galaxies the solar systems it's interesting are organized like sensor networks computer network radar networks and so forth the same thing could be said about local groups of galaxies these things are organized like sensor networks radar networks communications networks computer networks solar systems and galaxies I believe are fusions of technology including networks of technology this includes computer networks sensor networks communication networks and so forth they play multiple roles these fusions of cosmic technology that are disguised as natural phenomena any way you analyze any way you analyze the solar systems the groups of galaxies you will see technology sensor technology computer technology communications technology the galaxies and the groups of and the solar systems are shape-shifting networks of technology but they are largely networks if you cut through the quick networks with star topology topography we have a system of networks inside networks inside networks 
and this includes the and this includes the network of the human brain not to mention the brains of countless other organisms but one thing that these networks have in common including the neural networks they are alive with electrical signals the networks of the galaxies and the stars in the galaxies are a system of networks that defy the imagination the system of networks inside networks includes networks of sensor equipment computer equipment and other equipment that are all small parts of the technoverse the system of networks inside networks coalesce into the equivalent of the cloud computing platform which they there are many cloud service providers but they all use the same grid the internet is a mere image of the universe and vice versa both of which are mere images of the human brain the network of the human brain which is a mere image as just previously noted the internet and what all these networks have in common and this includes just the generic network of um, this fungus I found on the internet but all these networks ex rely on a system of electrical signals the universe is a system that is alive with electrical signals magnetic signals photonic signals the universe is alive with what are called molecular clouds they are your most distant ancestors by the way your great 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 grandfathers and grandmothers the electromagnetic organization of the filaments that make up the molecular clouds the networks of the galaxies at large are mere images of the electromagnetic patterns of neural networks it's not out of the question in my mind that the electromagnetic filaments that help make up the fabric of the universe including the molecular clouds the suns the planets the living moons and so forth harbor sentient consciousnesses these electromagnetic filaments slash patterns are identical to neural networks if God exists God is alive in the electromagnetic chaos of the universe in the electromagnetic fields inside each and every Sun each and every living planet and moon might have a corresponding electromagnetic field in each and every one of us it is not out of the question that humans are avatars for for beings of pure energy that live inside molecular clouds the suns the planets the moons the galaxies at large our system of electromagnetic fields inside electromagnetic fields inside electromagnetic fields as previously noted is the same system of a source relay destination system if humans are avatars then this is how it is done this system of electromagnetic fields includes the electromagnetic fields produced by everything from DNA up to the human brain 
the body, and the stars at large. Humans are radio transceiver coils made of billions, if not trillions, of radio transceiver coils, including DNA molecules. And our solar system and beyond, including the living moons, are also the equivalent of radio transceiver coils. The same thing could be said about our Milky Way galaxy and the other galaxies, especially the spiral galaxies. One common denominator here is our system of cores in orbit around cores and orbit around cores. We've already discussed the role of the cores in producing electromagnetic fields plus other technological roles. But the system of cores in orbit around cores and orbit around cores is one of the most significant components of the technoverse. This includes the central cortex of everything from the galaxies down to the human brain, down to the nuclei of each and every cell, all the way down to the atomic level. The geographic center or the core of the human brain is a gland called the pineal gland. I think it is inside the thalamus. The pineal gland is called the third eye by astrologers, mystics, New Agers, and so forth. It is said to be instrumental in facilitating everything from channeling to astral projection to ESP and the rest of the metaphysical senses. The billions of pineal glands of the billions of earthlings are all connected with each other via the electromagnetic field lines produced by Earth's core as small parts of a network that probably includes the trillions of pineal glands inside the brains of trillions of organisms throughout the technoverse. I don't know if animals have pineal glands, but most creatures on Earth, I think, have hypothalamuses or the equivalent thereof in their brains, which are in part responsible for motor functions, including limb movements and probably eye and vocal cord, cord and mouth movements, etc. If humans are not avatars for ETs, then they are the equivalent of autonomous or perhaps even remote control organic biosensors and data storage and transmission devices. The engineers of the Technoverse are likely beings of pure energy who are able to channel into humans and other organisms via their electromagnetic field structures. It could also be said that the galaxies and planets and moons are substrates or platforms that pick up and transmit the signals of organisms that evolve on these platforms. That likely pick up the electromagnetic signals generated by these organisms using the same technologies scientists on Earth have been developing for the last, for the last 50 plus years. I think the brains of I think the brains of almost all sentient creatures are probably connected via the pineal glands inside their brains. This network of pineal glands is part of a communications and teleportation and other network types that defy the imagination. I am going to conclude this video by saying that I have other videos out there on the internet under uh, Technoverse and Cybernetic Universe and 